My love is everlasting Ever Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing and please if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now and also go to the notification bell icon, click it and select all. Okay, so to wrap a new exclusivity, you will definitely be notified. Let's go straight to it without hesitation. So. Tyson the Gypsy Queen Fury got shook when Joshua demolished the predator Francis Ngano on the 8th of March. In fact, I have to say, I think I don't mind having Friday boxing though. It was a very refreshing event. In fact, I forgot about it. <laughs> it took place on Saturday night. But it was the box, the main the, the main card was held on Friday night, but the main event took place Saturday night. Like basically around 1 a.m. year. 1 30 a.m. <clears throat> so Fury. This was Fury reaction after Joshua demolished or demolished Francis the Predator Ngano. You can see Francis right there. You know, laid out flat. Cold, but a two-time unified with king of the universe. Fury was very complimentary of Anthony Joshua. This this is how Fury always is, man. Fury, listen, I'm not saying Fury is scared as a fighter because fighters are never scared of anyone. But Joshua is Tyson Fury's kryptonite. Joshua, I repeat, the unified, the former unified, the two-time, the only two-time unified ever week. King and ruler of the whole universe, Anthony Joshua, is is Tyson Fury's kryptonite. I see Joshua becoming a three-time uh, world champion, and possibly the new the new whole Joshua, the combination of both, becoming undisputed, ever king of the whole world of the whole. Uh, listen, if boxing was easy, like some people tend to think. Every 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 man born from his mom can just go out and box. Then anybody that can fight can be a boxer, right? It's not like that. The sweet science has some technique to it that you cannot just wake up from your sleep and go box. You will get knocked out because each move you make, a boxer already knows what the, the next move you're gonna make. They knock you back out. Just the how, just like how Ngano thought he could turn Sadpaul and Joshua was like ah Joshua it was a quick assessment a quick reaction for Joshua oh you turn Sadpaul now now take this right hand boom and Gano had to go and then Gano well, falling down coming back out that shook Gano because Gano prior to that had never been knocked down he had not been knocked down or anything like not been dropped in sparring or anywhere this guy has been kicked to the head he's been elbow to the head he's been Everything has happened. In fact, Tyson Fury even hit Ngano with a nasty elbow in during their fight. Ngano took it like nothing happened. But when the two-time unified everywhere ruler of the whole universe and Joshua landed that right in the first round, bro, Ngano felt it and like, whoa, this is a different kind of power. I think it's good and gonna go knocked out in the, in the second round because if for example the fight went longer or Joshua decided to just papper him with punches and Joshua would have literally disfigured Ungano's face. I've never seen Ungano's face disfigured before but that would have been the case. It's facts. Well, F Tyson Fury fa fight Anthony Joshua. Fury will do everything possible to avoid a Joshua fight but also Fury is a dangerous man himself. He's a well skilled boxer. But Joshua is Fury's kryptonite. Fury can beat Usyk. But Joshua will remain Fury's kryptonite because there's a there's an there's an history there's a there's history there. Joshua starting from the amateur days when Joshua used to go to to spar Fury as an amateur and dropping Fury anyhow and beating up Fury in sparring and stuff like that. Fury knows that Joshua is a different beast when he, in fact, 
Joshua against tall guys is like, is like, bro, you give Joshua tall guys, man, that's what he does. That over right hand is coming. That jab is coming. That uppercut is coming. That pull a counter is coming. Everything is coming. So when you begin to see a guy that has all those attributes in Joshua, you begin to wonder how. Fury, you looking at his face right here, you can tell this guy knows what is going to happen when he fights Joshua. That's why he's like this. Facts. No need to even uh, sugarcoat anything, but this is what happens. And I'm not joking. So we are we are very much I'm very much happy that the Usyk Fury fight is happening because that that will tell us a lot. So Fury, you know, came out being being complimentary, and Joshua said, "Man, F Fury, man, F Fury." It's facts. F Fury because basically, Fury. If Joshua, if Joshua had lost, do you know what? Do you know the ridic like? Do you know what Joshua would have? Do you know how Joshua would have been ridiculed? People will be saying, oh, retire. Oh, the Joshua back thing was a fluke and everything. Bro, Joshua understands the, the media game now, so he doesn't fall into all that hype. And that's why Joshua kept it calm. And Joshua wants to stay active. We'll talk about that later. You know, because I have to go to work soon. So, understand this. Joshua is Tyson Fury's crypto night yeah Tyson Fury's crypto night is Anthony Joshua so let's be right here bro what do you guys make of this um what do you guys make of Fury's um reaction after Joshua knocked him gone out cold Give your likes below, give your thoughts below, like if you should subscribe and please keep supporting the channel. I do appreciate each and every one of you. God bless you all. Stay tuned guys. Cheers. Want you to cover me, want you to cover me